Sigma Tiger News, all up in your grill with the hottest, juiciest beef online. What do we got today? Chinese space weapons. Look out. Blackmail, blackmail. New York City UFO. Oh my gosh, look out. <laughs> All right, you're here with the big sig tig. Let's dive right in. TGIF, people. China developing space weapons at breathtaking pace. Beijing's burgeoning satellite ambitions now represent clear intent to project its power in orbit, warns the U.S. military. Here's a gigantic rocket. Pales in comparison to uh, Elon's, to be honest. China is developing anti-satellite weapons as part of a breathtaking military expansion. U.S. defense experts have warned. General Stephen Whiting, the head of the U.S. Space Command, said Beijing has tripled the number of intelligence, surveillance, and recognizance satellites in orbit in just six years. Frankly, the People's Republic of China is moving at breathtaking speed in space, and they are rapidly developing a range of counter space weapons to hold at risk our space capabilities, General Whiting said. Counter space attacks range from disruption of GPS signals or spoofing to destroying a satellite by detonating a missile in space. All right, experts have long warned of Beijing's misuse of anti satellite weapons and the need to clean up space from an environmental perspective. Debris still lingers in space from the ballistic missile China fired in 2007 to destroy an orbiting satellite. China using space to improve lethality. Ooh. Uh, Jennifer Whitting added that China has used space capabilities to improve the lethality, the precision and range of their terrestrial forces. Mouthful right there. Speaking at the U.S. Embassy in London, Colonel Raj Agrawal, commander of America's Space Delta II Force, also warned that China has shown a clear intent to project its power through space and stressed the precision with which it could strike targets thousands of miles away beyond the curve of the Earth. Again, Wide-eyed at that, Lieutenant Colonel Travis Anderson, head of Space Force Intelligence Squadron, also said its fleet of 350 satellites had increased by 300% since 2018. So maybe the Space Force, the laughing stock of the military when Trump introduced it, is actually a, a super awesome idea because China is way ahead of us. It allows them to look into the Indo-Pacific and find the U.S. and Allied Forces ships. So look out, they are watching not only balloons, that's just probably a diversion, they're using satellites. And it's a national security threat, so look out. All right, and uh, nothing to see here. No big deal. What the heck is this? So what you've seen there is uh, the development of Chinese scientists creating a cadaver collector. Nothing to be concerned about. The share of Americans who say they support mass deportations of undocumented immigrants or illegals, the unhoused, uh, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, it's all stupid. Anyway, the general public belief, so uh, a majority of 1%, 51% to be exact, uh, believe that mass deportation is probably a great idea and would be awesome. Uh, race, ethnicity, breakdown, white, 56% of white correspondents or respondents uh, stated that they're 100% for it. Latinos, 45%, and black, 40%. Political affiliations, Republicans, 68% uh, are all about the mass deportation, even independent, unchosen, basically the swingers, uh, 46, and Democrats at 42. Generation Boomer Plus, so I guess that's anyone born in the late 40s, 50s, early 60s generation, I believe. They, 60% uh, of those are like, yeah, get it. Get out of here. This is not the country that I grew up in. Gen X, you know, 53%. Millennial, 48 And Gen Z are just like, they deserve to be here. Half of Americans, including 42% of Democrats, say they'd support mass deportation. Yeah, we just went through it. We don't need to go through it again. Boom, there you have it. Black Baltimore High School Athletics Director is charged with using AI to create fake racist rant, then blamed it on the white principal. So we talked about AI and deep fakes there the other day and how uh, 
the new Vata uh, Microsoft program just needs like one audio clip in 6K on YouTube and it can basically recreate you as a deepfake AI model. All right, let's check it out. Black Baltimore High School Athletics Director has been charged with using AI to generate a recording of the school's white principal going on a racist rant. Dazon Darian, 31, previously worked as the athletic director at Pikesville High School, but was the target of a probe in the mishandling of school funds. In an act of retaliation, Darian allegedly generated a fake audio recording of the school's principal, Eric Eiswert, spewing racial and anti-Semitic insults about staff and students. Wow. What an attempted takedown. The recording posted to an Instagram account allegedly captures Pikesville High School principal Eric Eiswert making racially charged comments. I seriously don't understand why I have to constantly put up with these dumb here every day, the speaker is heard saying, so we don't know if that's Asians or asses. Continuing on, Dazan Darian and the principal here. Eric Eisworth. Interesting uh, alliteration on the names there. Uh, between these ungrateful black kids, we can't test, who can't test their way out of a paper bag or these teachers who don't get it. How hard is it to get these students to meet their grade level expectations? I mean, brr, hilarious. And uh, the speaker said, and if I have to get one more complaint from one more Jew in this community, I'm going to join the other side, which is what? What is the other side? Dazon Darian, the school's athletic director, produced the recording to retaliate against Principal Osworth, who had initiated a probe into the mishandling of school funds, McCullough affirmed after the investigation. So we don't know. Allegedly, there were some mishandled funds by Dazon Darius. And uh, yeah, so uh, Baltimore County City Police Chief Robert McCullough said his department worked with the FBI and forensics experts from University of California, Berkeley, to investigate the recording, which circulated online January 2024. The ex-athletics director now faces charges of stalking, disruption of school operations, retaliation against the witnesses currently being held in custody on a $5,000 bond. Pretty weak that he can't pay that bond. Darian Eiswert's uh, feud began in July 2023 when Darian became the director of athletics and uh, fired a long-standing coach that worked for Pikesville High School without the principal's permission. Okay. Further conflict ensued when Darian authorized a payment of $1,900, $1,916 to his roommate, who was also worked at the junior varsity basketball coach at the school. Darian claimed she was acting as an assistant soccer coach for the girls' soccer team, despite the coach never assisting during the season. Okay. I see what we have here. A little hush money. Hmm? Not even. A little, little uh, candy, a little cream off the top there. Anyway, Billy Burke, the executive director of the union that represents Baltimore County Administration, has previously told the Baltimore Banner back in January when the audio was circling that the voice is not Eyesworth. So they stood behind him. They knew it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so this fool is in jail. Good luck, buddy. So, uh, yeah, they have the recording here. You want to hear it? No, it's not working. Anyway, whatever. We heard it all. We got it all. We'll cancel that one out. All right, let's go on to the colleges. Let's see what's happening there. Let's get a little uh, read on what's happening. One of the far left's lead student organizers at the Columbia University encampment for Gaza recorded a live stream saying that Zionists, along with all white supremacists, need to be killed. Okay, no problem there with uh, that person. Totally mentally fit. All right, so uh, Kimani James, pronouns he, she, they, says... The public should be thankful he, she, they has not gone out to murder them yet. Yeah, we are thankful, absolutely. And hopefully we'll be thankful that the police lock you up. James has been interviewed and quoted in the media for his role in leading the Chaz style occupation. Far left extremist and Antifa activist Keani James is one of the student organizers of the Columbia University occupation for Chaz. He is threatening to mass kill Zionist white supremacists. Nazi fascists. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so what are they getting on with here now? It's cultish behavior, right? It's it's uh, indoctrinated. So what is cult? Ten signs. Number one, absolute authoritarianism without accountability. I do what I want, and if you challenge me, then you will be eliminated. Zero tolerance for criticism or questions. Leading back, right, to that. Like, preying on the minds of vulnerable youth. Yeah. People like youth are clamoring for something to accept and hold on to because it, the future looks like it's the cliff and darkness underneath. 
so that anything that comes near will be worth grabbing onto to them because there is nothing currently. There's just air, hot air coming out of the politicians. Unreasonable fears about the outside world that often involve evil conspiracies and persecutions. Yeah, so like just attacking people, coming up with wild ideas, crazy narratives that like, you know, they could be true. They're possible in that realm, but probable, uh, very unlikely. So abuse of members, you know, not treating anyone with respect, like not adhering to your non-violence proclamations. Mind control and programming, yeah, manipulation by saying like, you know, whatever you need to say to get what you want. Followers feeling they're never able to be good enough. Yeah, you keep them uh, down, like it's like the carrot or the stick, right? The donkey, you put the carrot out in front of the donkey and the donkey starts moving, you know what I mean? And then when the donkey stops, or if he does get the carrot, you start beating them with the stick when they misbehave. First you get the carrot, then you get the stick. <clears throat> All right. Followers feeling they're never able to be good enough. Yeah, lack of financial transparency and disclosure of funding sources. <clears throat> What's going on with the money? Oh, oh, don't worry about that. Well, you, didn't you just buy a mansion? <clears throat> no, 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 don't worry about that. Well, like we tried to use the, the BLM credit card there the other day and, and uh, said it was declined. Like, how could that be? I mean, we raised a whole bunch of money. Like, don't we have it? It's like, is that another property you bought there? What's going on here? Anyway, the group relies on shame cycles. Yeah, so basically, like, you shame people and uh, they feel guilty. Colonizers, white people, the slave trade, transatlantic slave trade is the only slave trade that existed. Asians never owned slaves and enslaved their own people. Africans definitely didn't do it and sell their own people to... to white people or Muslims. Muslims definitely didn't have Christian slaves. None of that's real, no. All right, possible UFO. Sighted over New York City baffles passengers flying into LaGuardia. Here's an image of it. Can we get the video cracking? I mean, yeah, so take that for what it's worth. But, uh, you know, with digital cameras and stuff like that, lights and things, movement, it can play tricks on it. It's not necessarily film. So that could be anything. That could be a bird. You know what I mean? Like there's there's images of birds like flying into things and then basically the light and the bird disappears because the, the digital camera cannot analyze it quick enough. Anyway, there it is. Did anyone see it from the ground? So they called the FAA, and there she is, the Michelle Reyes. It's a little nerve-wracking that someone else saw what I saw. So two people seen it fly by the window, so it's totally not fake. Anyway, San Diego is now the top border region for migrant arrivals. What happens when they stop them from going into one place? They get on TikTok, and they check the app that the UN has helped fund and uh, funnel money into, and they say... Uh, we're headed to San Diego. There's a little hole up here and there's no border patrol around. California is the place to go. So there it is. For the first time in decades, San Diego has become the top region along the southern border for migrant arrivals. Migrant arrests in San Diego reached 8,989 for the week ending April 16th. According to figures, the agency posted on X. Meanwhile, Tucson, which previously had been the top region for crossings, had 7,500 arrests for the week ending April 19th. So is that per week? Or the week ending uh, year to date. The numbers appear to be growing. San Diego Chief Border Patrol Agent Patricia McGurk Daniel wrote on X that 9,513 migrants were arrested as of Tuesday, a 30%, 36% increase from two weeks prior. Yeah, so it's on the week. So every week you got that many people crossing on those three places. That's a lot of migrants. People, do the math. There's apparently only 11 million, but like the truth is it's like it's 21 million. And uh, we got a blue collar worker here and he was asked to describe uh, his feelings about the current president of the United States. Let's have a quick listen. Your discretion is advised for uh, Lambie down in Australia. What's it like seeing so many Republicans in Manhattan, so many Trump supporters in Manhattan? Does that surprise you? No, not at all. It's turning now. Trump's turn again. What's your message to Joe Biden? Fuck you. And there you have it, uh, the voice of the people. 
and uh, just some TGIF feel good stuff because everyone uh, you know is always down about the news and there's always terrible things out there everyone's demonized so it's good to get something nice in there especially something nice in your body uh, not a paid advertisement but check this out if you don't know watercress it's an underrated superfood despite its health benefits it remains underutilized in kitchens it's grown in regions like Ile de France uh, Aquitaine North Pas de Calais France so anyway get down to your uh, local grocery and see if they have any fresh watercress it's good for a couple of days in the fridge and you just add it it's like a leafy green you might need to blanch it a bit if you have problem with vegetables but uh yeah go ahead watercress full of uh bursting with here potassium fiber protein calcium iron thiamine riboflavin niacin folate zinc and vitamins a b6 b12 c d e and k for perspective on watercress contains more vitamin c than an orange or a lemon and uh, it's only 21 calories, so you can go ahead and have a bowl of it, and it'll give you what you need. TGIF, people. 10,000 likes or subs. The mask comes off. I'll reveal what's happening behind. Enjoy your weekend, people. Love everybody.